and welcome back to my very, very first Farm Manager game. Yes, I have had a bit of a tazz around the um, map, I have, and I do love... I shall show you. Yeah, these are my settings. Let me show the, you these first. Uh, I would have had a longer time on the um, normal thing because I have had a tazz around literally to study the map and see the best place that I think to start. Yeah, I've got... Now, there's difficulties with this map in Farm Manager, strangely enough. Now, I've checked my other save games, and they're okay with all the mods that I've got come on this game, and it just sticks at 85%, like it doesn't like. It's definitely script-based mods, but it's not all script-based script -based mods. Yeah, I've got minimal mods, because, yeah, I tried to have the most things that I would want the most, or a basis. Some of them I had to... Yeah, I've literally got it's a very small amount of mods on at present. I haven't got all of my um, normal like wear uh, settings and all of those type of things because it seems to be scripting mods that don't like this map or the farm manager start. I've never done this before. Well, I have Elm Creek, but right when there were no mods. So yes, right. Let's just show you what the game says. A total of 19 minutes, which is true. I've done absolutely nothing, as you can see, but I have run around the map, and this session's been four minutes, which I've spent very wisely. Don't ask me how... Now, I, I didn't... This is amazing that we actually get starting equipment. It really is. Most of this is starting equipment. One piece of equipment I actually bought from the sales. I'd normally show this on the camera, but you can see that it is second hands because I'm going to go in my... Yeah, the large tractor was on 150 something thousand. As you can see, it is yeah damaged, and it is how many months? 35 months, so it's three years old. It really is. It is a beaut. Yeah, I thought, well, this is a big map. It's they're quite nice. It does need repairing, though, as I say. So we've got all of the starting equipment that you would have, all of it, and I have got every last little bit. I did make a choice. After studying the map, Chad suggested going for one of the start farms. Now, I thought we are going to do this in reverse a little bit. Now, I'm a terror uh, for not having sheds and that. So, this is... I have bought one field. We have bought field 20. We have, I've bought the periphery for the grand price of zero as well. So, yes, that was quite a, bone, a bargain. Yeah, you can see I'm not, not fibbing. It is value zero. So, I bought that. So, I have periphery for placing any kind of placeables where I like. I haven't done anything important other than to buy my field and buy that one piece of equipment and no placeables are on this map other than what is as standard. Now the starting map, I do like the one that you would have got. It is very good value as well, much better. It's almost better than, I, I paid 659 for this and it's just a field. Whereas two is a beautiful farmyard with lots of buildings, and it is only 491,000, so it does represent the absolute zenith of good value. But it is the place that most people will probably start, and I don't like doing that. I don't, even though there are not many let's plays on Stone Valley. I shall leave those tried and tested individuals to, to go that route. So that's what I thought was... If you look on field 20, this little square here in between these two production-y type places, I thought that could be the farmyard. It's not much smaller than the actual one on 2. It is a little bit smaller. But yes, I think we'll go for that. And that will be our... Yeah, this will be the farmyard from the very beginning. But I'd like this time... Now, we've only got 685,000. Yeah, the... We do own the land for all these, so we can do what we... I think we do. No, not this one. It's the one up from this. We own the land on... He says that he bumps into his equipment. Yeah, now I am going to shake things up. I, did, I do <laughs> explain in Wesnishi why I hate the three-metre cedars and things like that. It it's dates back to uh, No Man's Land. It truly does, yeah, where I eek to field with that three meter that very three meter cedar for a long time there are collectibles on this map not sure whether to partake but yes so we do actually own this land so we will we will be making this is an extension of our farmyard is but we shan't be being silly where we're going to block things 
for yeah so you can't use the things that are by design part of the yard but being as it is part of our I would imagine these fieldy edged yeah that are part of that we're going to claim these because we do own it on paper so yeah now then that's that's a field 20 sort of a split field in a way it's got three sections to it let's have a quick run now i haven't even got my i can't even increase speed because that again was one of the casualties i'm gonna have to have a go yeah i really have got a minimal amount of mods on me really really minimal i've not even got my fill lever fill level uh, all the warnings that i have yeah, this is so mod poor so that I can actually use the map. So I think we will be using this almost like, yeah, the three fields. We've got a little field at the top and this one here, which we'll be splitting into so that this is the farmyard and this one here at the back. So this is our field. You can see, obviously, it's ready in so much as it's harvested, but it isn't ready. So then, yes, I am going to build the farmyard and we are going to do what I would normally do because, funnily enough, on this let's play, one and a half millions that we had to begin with is soon dinted. We've dinted half of that just on this one strip of land. Now then, the one thing I am going to do is I am going to allow one very good and I'm not going to go with my normal one I've only used this once it was only dropped I think last Friday so I'm going to allow one generator especially it is big though it is, is it that one? no it's uh, no it's not it is. oh it's not on <sighs> it's one of the casualties right okay that's that's interesting right well in that case oh yeah it is oh wow okay I will be seeing if I can get that one on so I shall be right back hello and welcome back right let's do that again this time yeah I've loaded a few more mods it's let me get away with them and I've just loaded the one yeah the radio tower mod this literally it is quite large which yeah you would expect I'm gonna stick that on is that gonna affect anything I don't want to put it in a place that is ridiculous. Let's have a look. Let's see. Would that play with anything? Would you have that at the beginning of the building? I'm not so sure you would. Is it hurting anything around there, though? Not really. Let's get the... Yeah. I would say that's... Yeah, yeah, that's... Right, that is the one placeable we are going to have. Now, we are going to, yeah, I'm going to place roots down for once, but we are going to start in the vein that I first started in FS19. So, we are, this is, yeah, this is to reflect that we are a bit of a itinerant farmer. We are, we are going to go, we are going to increase this, and we are going to go, ah, I've not even got that in either. Oh, seriously. I suppose that's close enough. I've got the Omatana set that I would have liked, but you know, yeah, it will do. It will. It's it is a house and it is a mobile house, so yes, it is more than I wanted to pay, but right, okay, we have home. We have a sleep trigger. This will be the centre of our well, no, it'll be the site. Yeah, it's true. Now then, so we need to want to put some... No, let's design this around sheds. This is the one thing I always... Yeah, now I am going to put in my... Yes, it did allow me to do this. I'm going to put the little mini BGA in. I am. That is definitely... And this is going to be... Let's try and think about this, actually. Yeah, that isn't bad. At the corner of the field. See? I want to make sure... No, that is, that is ours, or it won't... Yeah, put it in there, and with skirt, we shall put a road to this, though it is part of our smashing. Right, so that is our BG, that's our first production. Here we are, it's sister product that is going to, yeah, literally, uh, now is that a wise? Yeah, let's think, let's think, now then, yeah, that's the little bit, that's going to be for something square amazing I think so I would say one of these is going to be I, no I'm not going to do what I normally would actually but we will stick the Hessian in and we should stick that 
sink of the nozzle and also get into that nozzle now that green, yeah that is true, we can always get to that no I know, but let's think of this, this is going to protrude into our field, it really is to give us enough room to go around it, it is, it's going to make the field edge a little bit weird let's do that straight away we are going to yeah, landscaping and painting, going to, yeah I'm going to paint this with the grass eventually I am going to properly in fact yeah shall I yeah but we should do an outline because it does help the field edges right that's, that's not bad We will work on this. It's just this is just the basics, right? So we've got the Hessian Hessian farm. We have that now. Then we do need. Yeah, we are going to do the. This is in reverse. I don't normally do it this way, but with be having this, we shall do. Now we want the. Oh, have I not? I've not got the slurry yard. Aha. Okay, so that's another thing. We don't know whether that's going to work or not. Now then, yeah, we will. I think we will piggyback off the existing road. We shall, definitely. And yeah, let's pick painting. Ah, okay, so that won't let me do that. Now, is this grass owned by me? No. Right, okay. So in that case. Much does that land actually cost to buy? No doubt a lot. Can we afford that right now? Probably not. Okay, in that case, we shall leave that for now. Uh, shall we? No, this is the farmyard. It's just such a shame because obviously, I, what I would like to do in time is buy that so that we can make this road more believably into part of the yard that leads over to there. Yeah, that's, that is definitely true. We shall, of course. Yeah, the one thing we will do now, though, is what am I doing? It's not what I want to do at all. It yeah, is we shall yeah cover this at least, and let's go above somewhat. Yeah, we're going to literally cut this section off because we would still definitely have that. So landscaping, painting, grass to begin with. Let's go out. Let's be generous. Let's not be skimpy. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. I can't do anything with that bit. Yeah, we will do this properly, but for now it does actually mark the fit. So that little strip there we can't do anything with because it's not ours. That's annoying. Right, okay. Shall we do is it's not yeah it's not letting me do that at all either is it right okay that's as good as we can do it for now until we can buy that land I will buy that top yeah really as soon as I possibly can right so my favorite ah that is a point have I even got that I don't think I will have oh well, we've got some good map ones though and some fairly big ones that is quite large that isn't but I like that for 20. That is amazing. Right, okay. Let's look what else there is on the map buildings themselves. I like that 20,000 one. Yeah, I will be trying my best to get my, because my favourite one is a black sheep modding one. Now we have got the homemade RT8 RTK. So let's stick that on. Somewhere it's not going to hurt out of the way. For once we'll actually have that. That's quite amazing. Yeah, sheds. That is true. I'm going to leave the sheds for now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plant this as grass properly. Yeah. So, we have one year. We will, in that year, design our farmyard. We will, because I'm going to gradually put some mods in to make this a little easier, because my favourite is the black sheep mod. But we've got the start. We've got our biogas plant, the hessian. We will, hopefully, the, the uh, slurry yard also will be part of this. We have our house. We have some equipment. What I'm going to do now is, obviously... Now, there are some things... That is a point. I ought to sell the things... 
I am going to keep all of the tractors. Or am I? We have got... Yeah, we have got quite a lot of money with these. They are always useful. We are, because, yeah, we are, but time-wise, because you're watching, I'm going to be do this a little bit quicker than I normally would. I know I'm going to get more value, but yeah, let's sell everything that... I'm going to buy some other weights, but I'm not going mad, and yeah, even that, I'm going to choose one. I'm not a fan of the Welga. It does have some weird things. Cultivator, not that either, and everything else is staying. Yeah, all the tractors, headers, and I love this harvester too, is all staying. Right, that didn't bring in an awful lot, did it? Anyway, yeah, so what we're doing, let's have a look, what is on sale today? I bought the tractor, but yeah, that was it, it is true. Right, so what we're going to do is, oh, that's a point, can I just sleep anywhere? Oh, I can still, yeah, that's the one mod that did, that was okay. Even though I know I've got a sleep trigger, I am going over there, honest. What I'm going to do now is we're going to go start next August, we're going to literally cycle through till August next year. I am going to speed, yeah, time lapse this so that it's it, the nights go quickly and we're not waiting. So I'm just going to record this, yeah, I am. I'm going to say the words I always say when I go into a time lapse. We have that one one and it is a good one it is only dropped last week but yes that is the one generator we've got no more and we are now going to go through the sales for one year and see we've got the one field we're going to start with this one field we're not buying any more no matter what we're going to build this up and it is stone valley so right and let's put time up two times one yeah, my settings are, well, they're not my normal settings because half of the mods that I would have that would make this normal. But yeah, let's, I've got normal economic difficulty, seasons on, one day seasons. We have got a precision farming, as you can see by the icon. Yeah, everything's on except for periodic plowing. Do it. I've left this exactly on the settings and I've switched, yeah, a trader fill limit on. Fuel usage is normal as is dirt. I haven't slowed it down like I normally do. These are all off. And that is all the settings I've got because I can't have a lot of the mods that I normally would have. So let's go to sleep and see what the, the year brings us in in the way of starting equipment. Other than thank you very much for the starting equipment. I must check who the map maker is. I did check once. I've totally forgotten because my memory is shocking. So right then, let's buzz through and yeah, let's yeah, let's use the proper proper. Okay. Oh, okay. That's interesting because it's <laughs> it's not allowing me to use the proper. Okay, that's that's that that's intriguing because um, yeah. Okay, well, it looks like we are sleeping anywhere then, because my proper trigger is, for some reason, absolutely not working. Okay. And, yeah, we're going to just stick it at 9 o'clock. Ooh, that's a point. Wouldn't let me do that. No, I did Taz around. No, it's doing that silly thing. So, we need to speed time up to about 9.40. As he slows it down. Before it will let me sleep. Yeah, and, no, actually, there is no sleep trigger there. So, this is Farm Manager. Right, Ooh, okay, that should let me go now. And, oh. Well, you weren't there a minute ago. Not that I'm tempted to buy that. We already have a starting harvester. Right, so nine o'clock. And we shall see what this is. So, I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side. Bye. 
Right, well, that was a very, very mixed bag of equipment. Yeah, really one of the... Obviously, it is limited because there's not that many mods that we've actually got loaded in. So it is very limited, but there were more choices than that. Right, I believe the one good thing is... Yeah, let's grab one of these. Yeah, and the fastest, which I do believe is probably... I think this is a 24. Probably the Massey. Yeah, actually, I think that's 24 too. Anyway, well, they're all. That's the only bad thing about these. They're all a little slow. Yeah, now let's go over to the store. Yeah, the one thing I am very pleased with is the Pottinger. Yeah, that will serve us proud. We're not bailing, but and also the Treffler. That was quite useful. The Weeder, mechanical Weeder. So uh, definitely going to be useful. And obviously one massive advantage is we are quite clear. and we've got the liquid tank for digestate. So and I've got my yeah, my whole Belleron tractor, the Valmate, Valtra. Yes, fond memories of that. But smallish trainer, but they're always useful for animal feed later on. I was umming and ahhing a long time over that, it's small, but I thought it's nine thousand. And that rope that is a leap of faith going forwards yeah it is sometimes you've got to yeah I would like to go into sugar beets because it does suit our model the BGA does actually favor that type of thing so with that in mind I bought that in the hope that one day we'll be able to afford the actual thing itself and obviously I love the fact that we've got a telehandler that is amazing but I'm sure of an awful lot of equipment so let us go on and we shall buy what we are short of now where is the actual shop itself i have probably it's usually here but it isn't right okay well that's interesting please don't tell me the equipment's in the way can we go through the door no we can't well okay there we go. I do see it now. It's, uh, this is a big, big shop. Excellent. Right. <laughs> now, is this part of the periphery? Is this part of the periphery? Oh, it is. So, wow. We own the shop. Excellent. Well, you know, the, the grounds. We're, yeah. Of course, we shan't abuse it. Right. Let's. So, we are going to need. Yeah, I don't think I've got any modded mowers. I think I put, did I put the RDMR in? It's a tiny one. No, I didn't. I've not got any mowers, no modded mowers at all. No, just base game stuff. Hmm. Actually, I'm quite fond of the Kuhn 2534000. It's not bad. And they are not, yeah, decent enough to begin with. We want, yeah, we've got a mechanical weeding. We will need, that. the biggest thing we're going to need is, yeah, we're going to need, now then, did I put any seeds and planters in? I'm sure I did, but I, I'm not sure. I've done this a few times, so, ah, I did, I put that one. Smashing, okay, and we will do the old trick then of buying three of these. And did I? I would imagine I've also done the planters, but we don't need that just yet. No, definitely not. No, I did. I did put the flex planter in. Excellent. Yeah, so at some point we will be buying some of those. Now that's no till, I believe. Yes, it is, definitely. Now then, we have. Yeah, we've got that to pick up the forage. And we are definitely going to need a fertilizer spreader. I did. Ah, I did put the AC2 in. Yeah, we're going to go maximum on this one. And yeah, we are brilliant. Now, did I put the rotter link in? Yeah, actually, for once, they the breadles would be nice on these because I'm going to get through. I oh, am. Yeah, that is true. I haven't got my back black sheep modding front in yet. I haven't. No, it wouldn't let me. No, we shall buy that. We shall buy that. And that is 
is it that is looking very sparse? I usually have a massive miscellaneous section. Now, did I stick the heat? No, I didn't. Right, wait, so have I put anything? I don't think I have. It's all base game stuff again. I thought, oh, I did put the rotter link in once, but then it didn't. Yeah, a lot. Of, I've been through this quite a few times. But, uh, right, okay. So. actually loses us. That's brilliant. Right, okay, we will buy that definitely. What is configuration? Oh. Yeah. What on earth did I do there? No, it's just standard. I'm not trying to auto load. And branding, gooseneck, bumper pull, 7750. Excellent. Absolutely, yes. Right, so I think that's all we're going to buy for now. I'm going to try to put a few more mods in. So ooh, that's not very auspicious. 666,734. Right, the other thing I'm going to buy is to do the field edges. Is the little. Oh, have I put the little bear in? That is the point. Mm, I doubt it. Should we go for the tree, the retriever? I'm quite fond of it. Ah, it's only got a. Yeah, it has. It's only got three points. Oh, well, we could go for little John Deere, which has got the three points if you stick it on. Oh, it's, no, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna get the little bear in. I'm sure that is gonna sort of load. So for now, this is where I'm gonna leave it. Rules of engagement. I always call this the first episode where we do this to decide the thing. So we bought our land, we placed a few things, including our house, even though we can't sleep at said house. We've got some starting equipment, not finished yet because I need to load a few more mods. I've got to, yeah, I'm going to literally go out and try it now. Then contracts. I think we will partake of contracts. I truly do. Yes, without a shadow of a doubt, we will. I think we're going to need to do that. But it shan't be featuring massive. No, it shan't. I, I would. Oh, that's. Yeah, let's get some. No, because there won't be the right attachments. Well, did I stick some in? Hang on one minute. Let's have a look at the telehandler things. I can't remember if I did, because I've done this a few times, and obviously mods. Yeah, they keep failing, so let's just try and see if it just got base game things. I think we probably. Yeah, we have. Just the base game stuff. So, right, yeah, right, we're going to leave it here then. We do, we will allow contracts. Loans. Let's make this slightly challenging and say no loans. Yeah, it is what it is. We either save up our money and we buy things or it's tough. So, contracts, no loans. Leasing. Yeah, let's make this a little bit tougher. No leasing. Yeah, we have got to own things to use them. This is going to be a bit of a tougher one than normal for that. But yeah, we well, I say that we've got 666,000 and quite a lot of equipment. So yeah, it's not rock rock, but we I've set it so that it's going to be not easy either. There is a definitely a challenge element there. I am going to repair these uh, literally off camera because you really don't want to see me do this. So the money will be down slightly from 666,734. On the next session we should actually start work. So yeah, I will. In fact, yes, I'm also going to take the equipment over to our farm yard, definitely. And yeah, I will. I'm going to try to get the toolbox mod installed to see if that will allow me. In fact, have I got that? I did stick some little bits in. Oh, I think I did put... Ah, that's right. Container with vehicle and workshop mod. I did put one in. That's right, we will put that in. Yeah, I know it's not owned by me. We'll stick this on... Yeah, and I want it on the corner. So that it is, yeah, close to the land. Yeah. Usually have the mobile toolbox, but we could always buy that as well if we need it. But smashing, 
Oh, I didn't. Oh no, that is the yard anyway. I'm not worried about it. So, we have a workshop trigger as well. Uh, fuel. Is there anything close by? Is let's just look on the map. If not, I know what I'm going to do. Fuel. Fuel. Yeah, but that's part of a farm. Ah, fuel stop. Aha. Just a little bit further down. So yes, we won't worry about that. We will literally use partake of that one. Absolutely smashing. So we've got fertilizer. We have a means of seeding. We have a equipment thing. We have a forage wagon and a slurry type thing. And yeah, and the basics of animals. I would like to go into animals. I'd like to start quite early on for once that we actually buy some animals. Now then, that is a point. I may have to stick what animals have we got at present. I'd like to go um, cows, definitely. I th did I? No, I've got nothing except the Hessians and the, the giant space expensive ones that would skin to straight away. Right, yeah. I'm going to load a couple of mods into that and we should start next session, but definitely I would like to go animals. I am. I love the Royal Christie one. Um, I do. Am I going to do that? Yeah, if I wanted to go big. Why not? Yes, I think we will. We will. I'm not going to go massive, massive because it would seriously kill us straight away. Uh, oh, that's a point. Have I got my. I'm not sure. Oh, I did. The Butterfree Bound Station and I put the little well in. Absolutely amazing. So we have got that fantastic that's a couple of things right anyway first session that is it rules of engagement no bank loans no leasing and we will allow contracts definitely and yeah well, this is our starting lineup mowers i am going to see if i can load the hx20 by black sheet mod in definitely because that is um yeah my it would be in this sort of choice yeah, what? Because it also mulches as well. We will get a couple of those definitely. We've got the tractors. They're not very high horsepower requirements. Windrower. There's a point. What have we got loaded in? Windrower wise. Did I stick the little tiny? No, I didn't. I didn't realise that was base game. The 9.7. I do like the Samas. Is yeah, but I think we're going to stick a few in as well. Definitely, I'm not just going to go for anything, right? And that is where we're going to leave it for now. I am going to literally start recording my first session, and we shall see where we go. Obviously, on this map, we do need to go big, but obviously, you can't just go big bang straight away. We yeah, it's 664,000 seems like an awful lot of money, but it will soon fritter away. And I do want to put some sheds. I want to build the farmyard before we start. I do. I want to expand it, but I'd like to at least start with a couple of sheds. I will put that 20,000 one. I did quite like that, but I would also like to put my black sheep modding one down as the hub and heart of our farm. Right, anyway, I am going to say I hope you can continue with me on this journey. My very first farm manager actual let's play. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Right, this is, I'm adding this straight to the last session. This is still part of the rules of engagement. I'm just going to add this extra bit. I've got... Oh, I've still not put the black sheep mod in. Yes, I haven't. So one thing I've not done. Ah. Ah, yeah, we have. That is true. Yeah, we have, actually. Yeah, let's go for... Oh, I like open. I do love open fronted. Even if we need a few more. Now, would you stick it near to your sleeping place if you've got farm workers? You would probably stick that, yeah, with your for your farm workers to drop the tools off at night if they were doing any late night driving. So, yeah, let's be slightly. What is it? Too. Oh, that's quite a lot of leveling, then, isn't it? Right. It's typical. It's nice and flat there, though. Do you have one straight off the road? Mm, maybe. At least a couple. Only, of course, I'm in the way, as always. Definitely. 
do like the bigger one as well. But I'm going to have a couple of those for the tractors. Let me shift my uh, backside out of the way. And also, actually, no, I think that there's a couple of track. The big one is in the way, isn't it? Yeah, of course it would be. Right, let's just move that out. And the other little John Deere. I'm so used to seeing the damage bar that I've got that normally. That's not loaded. I've loaded a few, but only again a bit at a time. So as yeah, I can. Right, let's just put another one of those down. Absolutely, right next to next up to that one, and looks about right. Yes, yeah, slight amount. We stick three. It's going up bit by bit. That all it is. Mm, it is. That is true. I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. Let's do level and go slightly bigger with that. My life. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Land next door. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's ah, that's could be the tractor as well. It is the tractor. Right. Let's grab that tractor out of the way then, which is the big one again. Stealing the way. I don't know. Right, let's try that again. Right, landscape it level. Ah, must be something to do with. No, no, it's letting me. Stick the no, they're the easy, the easy ones, aren't they? They're not the ones. Right, so let's grab that. Another one of those. Third one. Still got leveling to do. I hate that. We've just spent a fortune on leveling. You still say we need to level. Five hundred for that. What was that about? Why did we spend five hundred quid on? We just spent a fortune on level. And you just dug me into the ground. That's not level. But you know, sometimes these. I, I have said this. It does drive you crazy, right? Now we need to soften a tad. Yeah, to make it believably not go up some massive hill. actually quite bad. Let's be patient. Let's just... Yes. This one. Okay. It's not... That's very gradual. Right, okay. Smashing. So they are our little sheds. Now let's put one of those... I really did like that 20,000 one. The one that did come with the map, I thought that was really nice. Was it the 20 or 30,000? 30, 30, oh, no, it was the 20,000 one. Whoa, let's. Yeah, I think we should stick that. Yeah, again, not too close to us, and there will be some levelling, I've no doubt. It's a lovely. Yeah, that's much bigger. That's for combines and stuff like that. So. It's going to take quite a lot of levelling. Do you know? I think we're just going to face that. It's got plenty of room. And we can get by on both sides. Smashing. Right, so then. Let's just do a bit of road design. Let's make the basics of a believable farmyard. Right, we would have... And let's go... Yeah, we would probably go asphalt to begin with. Truthfully, or will we go concrete? No, that's dirt. Gravel? Yeah, gravel. It's more believable. It's not too expensive, right? So we want gravel path. Let's go quite large. Yeah, I want 
some of this putting in, in grass, that's why I'm not. Yeah, we're gonna do some bits of grass on this as well. And we are going to do and we are gonna do exactly what I said, which is to do a road leading, even if it means some of our field. Oh, I'd forgotten, yes, I've got the paint anywhere mod on haven't I now I did do that. I thought of this just to paint on our smashing, okay. Okay, that we should develop. We shall in time. I don't want to build Rome in one day. Let's just do a little tiny bit of smaller grass, just all the green. Yeah, I'm gonna. It, proper grass is so expensive. We will either properly, but for now we'll just make it green so it's at least sort of partially. Now that I want to do some really tiny green just down the edges. Too uniform either. I do want. Yeah, I want that filling in though. That would be. Smashing now. Let's do the back of this because I have no doubt that's not. So oh, it's not bad. I've seen worse. Uh, now that would actually, yeah, that is true. Let's make that slightly bigger. It would be a joining of the road where we actually come in from the main road. We may add gates, although I do find them a little limiting, but we may do. We definitely, right, so we have our, let's have our birds uh, uh, on the ground look now. Ooh, my life, that is a bit of a, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So for our normal tractors and that, they will go in there. And for our bigger things, they will go in there. Absolutely smashing. So we're now down to 631. Our house is here, and no, well, that is a point. Did I stick the? I think I did. Yeah, the Omatana mats being as our sleep trick doesn't seem to work. We should put one down. It's strange that it didn't work. Okay, let's see, this one should. Ah, how was it a map based problem then? Okay, it must be. I wonder if that is what does it then, if that's what the problem is with the Stone Valley. I know it's a new map, but wow. Okay, let's sell that then. It looks to me like we're going to have to be using Sleep Anywhere, because it doesn't seem to be liking Sleep Triggers. Ah, okay. Never moaned about us only having one of those items. Right, so we have a bit of a road. Ah, yes, I have. I have loaded that. So we want production and we want selling points. We have got the slurry yard. Let's. Yeah, let's go. That is a point. Yeah. Oh, now, would you have that next to your caravan? I don't think so, somehow. No, I think we will have this. That's quite close to that. I don't want to waste much of the field, I really don't. But, yeah, I think it's going to be more like that. Now then, let's, yeah, let's do the level. Because that is not level. Yeah, let's grab. Or shall we? No, it actually, funnily enough, it does actually muck around with things more if you do the leveling than if you just actually let the thing do the leveling. It always seems to be funny, though, with, um, 
leveling between two different things. I think that is probably the way to go. We want, let's pull back. I want to have a bird's eye view and I think, ah, that's as close as we can get it. Okay, let's go and have a look at that and see what we need to adjust the land. I didn't want to waste any more of the field. We've obviously, yes, where are we? Yeah, you can see we really limited quite a lot off the beginning of this field 20 now. So, yeah, we're going to lose all of that section there. Right, yeah, let's level that off nicely now. Let's just make this something believable. And we should do a bit of painting to make it sort of... Right, so we want soften. And we want quite a large soften. any money. Yeah, no, that seems very nice actually. I've seen an awful lot worse. Right, so then what are we going to do? We're going to asphalt this, I think. Painting. Gravel. So, uh, gravel matches that. Asphalt matches that and that. Yeah, we'll do it as gravel because it matches the the path work, which is obviously, yeah, we are leading from one place to another, so let's do that. We'll stick a bit of grass. Let's do that there. We should put some green in that section, and we shall eventually actually plant. Now, that is a point, actually. If I'm going to do that, I'm best to leave that, because that's class as cultivated. If I start to put this down, then you need to plough it up, so... Right, how do we... That is true. Could I should just do grass there as well. That's not bad. Now then, if we stick a... Now, let's do it in grass. It will be a field edge that the course play and the game will actually recognise. So, And on this side as well. And then we should put grass in, actually in there. Right, let's kind of have a quick look at... Yeah, a little bit of a field up the top. I forget how slowly it does this. Yeah, the little tiny bit. I'm going to do something special with that. I don't know whether we should do something like a tiny patch of sugar cane, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, is there anything else? Or we could make it greenhouses. That is a point. We could. Let's have a look. Something I'm, I'm very rarely do the greenhouses. We've got the open We have the open air garden. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a few open air gardens. This is our garden patch. Now let's have a look. I've not ever used these water. Right. So we want. Yeah, actually, I do I want them lined up. So we're going to go side to side. And we might have to. Yeah, let's come in a little. And we want to twizzle it. Oh no, because then I'm going to have the... Now I want to leave some room in the middle. We do. For getting our vehicles in. Or... Depends on how we're going to do this. To... Try and get the spacing quite right. It's not quite level. Not quite as... two more and last but not least right now let's get some painting done again to make this look a little bit uh, something like so we'll do no we will we will paint grass or green on this I think. No, because then we've got to do it's true, we'll paint that. Oh let me turn that around. We'll just paint a strip of green around this side. No we shan't. I will I'm gonna just gonna run the grass uh, a, a planter, cedar even. Is that the right 
It is. Right, let's just fill those in with that. In between all of these. over there as well. Smashing. Okay, let's make a road though at the front of all of these and we shall stick to what we've already done and we will go quite large. And then we should go smaller to do the little tiny bits. Things are very rarely as perfect as you'd like them to be. Sometimes things look weirder. Right, so where does the road lead to though? That is the point. Yeah, I think we shall access this from... Yeah, remember this is an extension of ours, so let us just... Yeah, we're going to put a road in leading... Not wasting too much. Does join the actual road over there. Ooh, that was, you did not a bad job at that, Mr. Smith. I'm quite pleased with that. That was sometimes, yeah. It's just a tad widening out, I think. Smashing. Not excellent, but not terrible. Yeah, so we have five open gardens for that patch. We'll do a bit of grass there, a bit of grass around there, and we'll plant some proper grass around there. Let's have a bird's eye view. We've got the Hesse in there. So we've got this back field. I know it's all one field, but we'll treat this as one field here. We'll plant something, and... Do you know, I might actually split that into two fields. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is a fairly large field. Why not? Yes, I think that's not a bad idea. Right, let's do a grass split. Straight. There. Well, you can call that straight. Right, okay, so there we have a grass and we have a field there. And we have the bigger field here at the front. And we shall also put a boundary so that the, again, let's go from this side. It perfectly straight. Smashing. There we go. Now let's also put a smaller, just a very small grass. I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be believable. Right. Let's have a quick look at this. Let's see. Yeah, the levels are a bit out. But, you know, yeah, it's, the levels off and off. Let's just make that slightly better, though, even though I'm not happy with that. I'm not. It's a bit a tad. Very nice, let's smooth it somewhat. This is so for once we have designed our farmyard at the beginning. Let's soften that a little. Let's of a wonder yeah we're gonna put we are gonna do grass we'll do that quite quickly ah yes that is the other thing we haven't done that is the we haven't stuck the multi fruit buying down yet have we or the well 
now then product ah yeah let's think about this our fields are here I think not far from the Hessian because all three fields meet at this point I also want to design the nozzle so yeah let's stick on that bit of land there it's not too far from the Hessian it's not getting in the way too much and the nozzle is about let's just yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, so we also want the well. Now, water. Now, animals are going to come later. And I, I th Yeah, that is a point. I think we'd like to go... That's not big enough for the Rolly Christy. I have loaded two or three others in. So let's do that first. Now, we're going to go... It's quite expensive, but... That would really seriously cripple us at this stage. 84 for 80. When you consider the original buildings. It's not massive. And it would go quite nicely. I've never had this one as well. That's another bonus. Let's have a look. Let's look at them all. That's my Rawley Christie one, my absolute favourite. Ah, I've tried this, the open cow pasture. 60, 45. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it would literally take every that. And it also has quite a large skirt. So, do you know something? It's not going to fit well on this particular patch of land. So, I think what we'll do. So we shall go for one I've never had before, which is, yeah, that one there. Why would you pay an extra 80,000? Yeah, these are the normal ones, aren't they? Yeah, I think we will stick to uh, my first instinct. Let us, now the multi-fruit is going to be over there. That is slurry so close to the biogas plant. Let's just have a look at this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game because I am not sure of the position. Okay, the, I'm going to have the game saved for me then. Right, let's do that again. And let's stick that in and we're going to have a look at what is the best position for this. And if I don't like it, we'll reload it. We'll. Right, so animals. I would imagine yeah, because that's the slurry side. Oh, that's got an opening door there, though. So I'm not. It could open either way. Right, I would say. Now then, that is a point. It's, it's quite bad leveling, but I do like it. Doesn't ruin much of the. Okay, right. Let's have a look at that from a bird's eye view. Uh, yeah, can tidy that section up. I have ruined the road, but then that can be redone. Uh, levels not seen worse. Let's just fix that. I'm, I think actually I'm happy with that. I don't mean obviously it needs some remedial work doing. We need to be softening there quite a lot. And we'll go bigger. Yeah, it's not too bad though. soften the edges somewhat of this where it's that's not too bad either I just want it softening so it's sort of yeah not awfully jagged and unbelievable yeah I think we will alter the um, road though I've totally ruined that now so we need to redo another road Road then, and we were using that. Let's go medium. We just want to extend it back to that. Let's smash it, and also let's make that into the same. It just seems silly to start with one color and then go for another one. Let's go around the back, and then we're going to have a look at this. Let's soften that first. In fact, no, let's stick. No, let's soften first. 
soften. It's going to slightly bigger. Right, yeah, that's going to go weird, so I can see why that's not actually doing much on that section. Right, so painting. You and smashing and yeah I think we will we'll do a banding of that all the way around that also needs softening slightly so it's not jaggedy what we're going to do is we're going to stick 40 in 40 animals in for now Doors open. They do indeed. Aha! Smashing. I'll do like this. And. Brilliant. And yeah, this is the bit where it was going a bit weird. I did think that would be. Actually, that is a point with this is really still rules of engagement we've created our thing next session we should start to move some animals in let's just try and see if we can do anything with that corner because i don't like that corner i'm not sure that i can i might need to i'm not sure it'll soften it might actually need to bring it up to it a little i think seem to want to do anything. Oh, I might be too close. No, it's not. No, I don't think it is. I did think that corner was a bit weird. Oh, well, it is what it is. Right, so next session we should put the animals in. We have a, yeah, we have that one trailer already. Still not quite happy with that. Let's just get that a bit, yeah, not very... Still a bit too pronounced. It's too close to me. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, it's not terribly jaggedy. Some of that shadow, it's not actually, yeah, it's not too bad. It's the shadow from the. Uh, storage bins. Right, so let's have a quick bird's eye view of the, yeah, this is going to be grass, this is the road, that's going to be grass, so yeah, we're going to properly plant grass on some of this. I shouldn't have painted that. Ah, oh well, it is what it is. Right, yes, that happy with that, slurry yard meeting that, so plant some grass there, again grass here in that patch there. We're going to do a slightly bigger roadway. No, no, we can get past all of this. I might put a little tiny, um, like a muck path leading past this to make it a tad more believable. That is a little bit awkward and a bit horrible. Let's just, yeah, let's make that a bit more. Right, let's escape in. I would like to do this so that we actually start for once. No, we don't want leveling first. Let us. Soften slightly bigger. Smash it. Do you know something? Let's carry. Let's do the painting now. Let's get this done. Let's make it much smaller than that. We want it in the same colours that we have done. We want a smaller one, though. To be honest. Yeah.
will improve on it this is just yeah like the beginnings to make it sort of so that everything has got now then that's right we've got our little path joining to that and a choice of paths that away leading to that smashing and we've got a path there leading to that our little open gardens we have and we have a hessian we have our contract with H2 Studios for goods at a reduced rate and for that we stick with them and don't go to anyone else unless it's something like yeah that is it right let's get out of that let's run over to there yeah we have we have our radio tower we have our vehicle our field trigger ah water yes we shall place that as well now then let's look at yeah in fact we should stick this I think just behind here I don't know where they actually they go now do they need water now that is a point oh, some do some don't now why is that not showing my now that is a cow yard yes <laughs> so why can I not see has this got a few errors on it the actual map itself because that is not letting me go into the cow shed will it if I place animals is it that oh, yeah that is a point let's try this let's do want to go? Yeah, I'm gonna go whole scenes because I went brown Swiss last time, and I'm gonna go. We're just gonna buy a couple. Smashing, and now let's see if we do see animals in there. Ah, it was exactly that reason. Ah, we bought them now, haven't we? We. I'm gonna save this straight after this though. So, but I am going to literally right Holstein select. We want forty. So we want 38 more. Bye. Absolutely 38. We have now got 40. So we are halfway there. We shall uh, slow time down because we're only talking. I'm literally going to go in a minute. So we have our animals in, but we do need to feed them next session quickly. So we do need... Oh, that is a point. We were looking about water, weren't we? No, they don't need water. TMR, hay, grass, and they produce milk straw. And milk and slurry. And I, I'm going to stick to slurry, actually. I'm quite happy with that. It's, yeah, we won't put the smash in. Okay, so that... Ah, did you we have chickens? That must be at the... Yeah, ah, that'll be at the proper... I would have had to do chickens as well, actually, but not to begin with. Yeah, we shall stick to our cows, because we are seriously now at the point of where that is. Ah, that's the point. Let's do the Omatana Gardens, the productions, and see what... Let's get all of this activated, ready. And we shall sell... I know we've not got anything to sell yet, and we should store that. Grass silage, stick them all on tomatoes. Yeah, we'll just stick everything on oh, oh, no, that as a point. No, we can't. to obviously be fertilising and watering those so we do need water but we should put the water point over there it makes more sense to be honest because the cows are yeah we're going to water those secretly wow I should have done this off camera but now I'm committed I think we're nearly there right smashing we are excellent right we'll get some water in that next time and start our production also what are we going to plant I want yeah, well, we, I think the only things we can plant are 
I'm going to go barley and wheat next month. I am because I want the uh, straw for our productions. The Hessian's secret weapon is that it will do straw to um, silage. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Definitely. And, yeah, we've got our got little gardens that are going to produce for that. We shall see. I'm going to naturally work the productions. In fact, yeah, we will build a dairy, but it's, yeah, we're not going to produce tons and tons of milk because obviously this is small ish. Yeah, may. That's the point. Let's just have a quick look. Could we stick a second one? I'm not talking about now, I'm talking about in the future. Maybe, just, but I think it would. I think to begin with, if we're going to do animals like on a bigger scale, we'll probably go somewhere else and yeah, put another, probably one of the Rolly Christie ones, maybe. Oh, I suppose we could extend the yard eventually into this section and buy more fields. I mean, we're not going to stick at these fields forever, obviously. This is just our beginning farm. I thought field 20 carved up was made quite a decent farm. We've got 19 next door. We've got those two little ones actually. They would make ideal candidates for... and not too expensive. Yeah, we could do our animals over there. I wouldn't mind doing sheep as well. Definitely. And going into clothing manufacturing, I reckon, because I've never done it. Really haven't. So, that is the end of my rules of engagement. That is the farm as it stands. We shall improve yeah, I should probably plant grass in this massive section as well. And whilst we haven't got anything, we should make a little mini field and we'll actually... Uh, oh, that's a point. Did what? I did load some equipment. Let's just crack on with that. I would like this to make sense to anybody watching. Did I put the HX20 in? I did. We're going to buy two of those. We're not... We will have a light system. And we will buy two... Yes, and windrowers. We did put the some windrowers in, didn't we? Oh, we did the little one. That's right. Okay, we're going to go for two of them then if we're going to do these. Or should we go... Is there any point in doing two? I think I'd sooner... Well, we do need a windrower. We will go one, actually. It is true. Yeah, so one windrower. We're going to create our own. No, we buy our hay, and I always do buy the TMR, and so we'll buy the TMR and. So, oh no, it's just the doors opening. Yeah, we will buy the TMR and that in. Water, that's the last thing we're going to do. We're going to stick the old well down by the gardens because they are going to need the water, and we should stick that. So his container, I think. Oh, well, I love this one, it's amazing. And we want that yeah, on that side. Give me enough room actually so that we can get past it. Swing room for those. Yeah, it's yeah, in fact, yeah, stick it there. Right, so water for those. Free water as well. And have we got a water con yes we have. We have got a container at the minute that will do that. But I'd like a dedicated one, if I'm honest. So let's yeah, let's have a look. Shall we buy animals? Let's have a look. The little abbey. 2.2 tons. 7.1 for 8,000. Or we'd go the Joskin. Or we could go for oh, that's 8,000 as well. Why would you want to pay more? 5,000 for 4,100. TLX. It's not a bad idea. Go that for, to begin with. We're not going to go, yeah, I'm not going unreal. No, we're not. It's uh, capacity, main colour. We'll stick this on blue, I think. Blue for water. Ooh, a nice blue as well. Rim colour, I like the silver. So that is our water one, and we will buy that out. Right, all my life it costed me a fortune. Oh, well, sometimes you only live once. Let's just, yeah. Right, so that's the water one. We've already got the digestate one. So that's water for that. And was there anything else I missed earlier? Sprayers, we shall see. It's not the end of the world. We've got, yeah, we have got the mechanical 
the trefflers for weeding. We may have to get a sprayer as well, but I think... Let's have a quick look in the garage and just see. Starting line up. Yeah, we have four medium tractors with a... Yeah, 190, 70, 75, 190. So two 190s, two 170 odds. And we have one large tractor which has the capability of going up to be one of the monsters. And it has a three point and a trailer hitch as well. So that is quite good. We have one harvester. Not the biggest, but yeah, not bad at all. Telehandler. Well, yeah, one that obviously is set up as a war... Um, as a tank one, even though it looks like that, and that one is going to be for animals. Should you look out for a bigger one? Header uh, beats for the future. Yeah, one. Yeah, Abby, and that's the uh, Kuhn RA142 forage mixer for doing our own. We might actually buy loose products, and we may keep some straw ourselves. Yeah, actually, that is true. We will mix our own, but we will buy it in until we get to that point. Forage. That was my prize possession. That I, that was my favourite drop. That was amazing. It really was. Yeah, one small windrow. We will look for either sales or when we can afford it. Two of the HX20s. Why have they devalued straight away? One good weeder, 15 metre one, fertiliser spreader, and three seeders, which we should join together and have some fun doing that. And we have a low loader for moving stuff around header trailer and we have the Ascari and the American Garden Hose for cleaning our stuff. We have a tool shed. I think we've pretty much, yeah, I don't think we've missed a lot. There will be something, I've no doubt. We have our animals placed, the stage is set for our farm. So, I hope you're going to join me on this adventure. It is a unique adventure. We have designed our own basic farmyard, and yeah, this is at the beginning of the Let's Play. We've got some productions that even those open air gardens, and I've never done those, so I'm looking forward to doing those. So we shall see what fun is to be had on this map. So, there we go. That is the start, and that is the rules of engagement. I hope you're going to join me on the proper Let's Play in Episode 1. So, hopefully see you there. I'm going to say goodbye for now.